This presentation explores the role of software licensing as it relates to SaaS applications, and more specifically as it relates to applications built on the Windows Azure platform. This presentation is provided by InishTech in two parts, and each part is approximately nine minutes long. Licensing has traditionally played an important role in helping software developers to manage and control how their applications are used and who gets to use them. It's always been an important piece of the jigsaw puzzle for software companies that are building and selling commercial grade applications. But now with the move to cloud computing, the software business is changing beyond recognition. Many software companies no longer actually sell software. They simply provide their customers with access to a service for which they charge a monthly fee based on some metric like number of users or level of usage of the application. The customer no longer owns the software. In fact, the customer no longer even gets the software in the traditional sense. So without possession or ownership or even physical distribution of the software, are things like licensing, compliance and code protection still important? Do they still have a role to play? And if they do, how should licensing even work? with the cloud's different business models, different software architectures, and different distribution and deployment schema. To answer these questions, we need to return to basics and consider why licensing is a worthwhile and valued activity for software providers. InishTech has been helping software companies to license and protect the products for several years. So we asked our customers two simple questions. Firstly, why they used our platform to begin with, and secondly, whether they felt the reasons that they used our platform persisted with equal, greater, or less validity in the SaaS world. Bearing in mind, many of our customers are already active SaaS providers, and this is what they told us. The first distinct benefit a typical ISV gets from a software or license management system is software entitlement management. This is to be expected. A licensing system should be able to create, distribute, and manage licenses. But what value does it provide? Well, it's simple. It means you can control who gets to use your application, what bits they use, whether they pay for it, and how much they pay for it. What's more, it means happier customers, because real customers always like to be in full compliance with their licensing terms and conditions. In the context of SaaS, the interesting thing is, now that software companies have more visibility over who their customers are, you might assume that they have less need for a licensing system to tell them what they already know. But the reality is quite the opposite. As a SaaS vendor, you have a much closer relationship with your customer. So you are in effect under the microscope and consequently, the desire to be on top of your licensing and to be seen to be on top of your licensing is actually stronger than ever. The second benefit is what we call agile software packaging. That is the ability to package the software for the market dynamically. Essentially what you're doing here is decoupling the development of the software from the configuration and packaging of the specific offerings that are promoted and provisioned for the customer. Why would you do this? Well, because development is the job of engineering, whereas packaging the different editions of the software is the job of product management and marketing. Enabling this build once, configure many scenario can dramatically reduce the cost of development, both in terms of number of builds and average build time. What's more, by empowering product management for this task, you can adapt your business dynamically to the market to suit every customer and every pocket. This facilitates choice, product differentiation, and improved market penetration. For SaaS applications, it was strongly felt that this agile packaging capability would now move center stage as the most valuable aspect of licensing. Why is this? Well, think about it. When you sell on-premise software, you can customize your software to fit the customer requirement because you're providing it just for them and they're probably paying you to deploy it. Not so with SaaS. SaaS is a single instance, multi-tenant architecture, a one size fits all model. And in this world, how can you align your proposition with the customer type or the customer's particular need without sliding back into the custom built, single instance, single tenant trap? The answer is agile packaging creating differentiated, dynamic editions of your SaaS application on demand. The third benefit of software licensing is code protection. The software developer needs to protect their core IP from misuse when they send it out into the marketplace. Whether this is protection against deliberate acts like reverse engineering or tampering, 
or to prevent against casual piracy like seat sharing. This has always been important for the ISV. Effective code protection means less piracy, better monetization and much better compliance. So what happens when you move to SaaS? Well, assuming that the cloud service provider is a trusted environment and your application is a true multi-tenant SaaS application, you have greatly reduced the risk of piracy, tampering and reverse engineering from the get-go. But for a hybrid model where there's still some software being deployed at the client side, or if it's a private cloud environment, then there may still be protection concerns. However, on balance, it appears that in the SaaS world, with some exceptions, code protection becomes less of an issue. The fourth point is that with an effective licensing system, the software vendor is free to be much more versatile in their sales model, allowing them to adopt any pricing, licensing, consumption and metering approach to measuring and extracting value. This enables the ISV to better align with customer requirements, to take advantage of changing market conditions and to extend their reach further into new customers and new markets. In the cloud, having a versatile commercial model is a prerequisite. You can't offer a SaaS application and then force an expensive front-loaded seats and servers price plan on your customer. It simply won't fly. You need to offer them choice, and that means having options for pay-as-you-go and pay-on-demand that can link entitlement and billing to software usage. The fifth and final reason why people use licensing technology inside their applications is because it helps them to learn about their customers, who they are, what they're buying, how they're using the application, and what can be learned from this behavior. So is this still relevant in the cloud? Of course it is. Customer intelligence is a key pillar upon which the success of a cloud application can be determined. The more you can learn about your customer, the more likely you are to succeed. And if your licensing system can provide you with interesting and unexpected insights into your customers, so much the better. So these are the five reasons why licensing is seen as a worthwhile and beneficial investment for an ISV. With the possible exception of code protection, it is evident that the business value of licensing is still strong, if not stronger, in the world of SaaS. The bigger picture here, what we discovered when we spoke to our customers about licensing in the cloud, about their transition to Windows Azure and about how they will monetize their products in the future, was that it was the commercial considerations that were causing them the most concern. Software companies, particularly established software companies, were facing a situation a little like this. The visible challenge, what people could see, was the technical task, the building or rebuilding of their application for a SaaS model on a platform like Windows Azure. That was the tangible, definable, and measurable aspect of the task and of the transition. This was the piece that people felt could be controlled, scheduled, and then executed upon. But what people are less sure about was the invisible or less definable task, that of moving their business to the cloud. Because, of course, this transition is much more than a technical project. It's an entirely different way of doing business. These concerns, in fact, this picture brings into focus what is needed in order to address the task at hand. You need a solution that will tick all the boxes for software licensing in the SaaS world, but you also need something that's low impact, that's easy to implement for a busy development team that are already engaged in a lot of other things, that's low cost for an early stage cloud incubation team, and that can easily slot into the broader SaaS software delivery model. And most importantly, you need a solution that addresses the intangible business challenges in this transition to the cloud. One which will clear a path towards profitability for the ISV as they embark on this journey. The second part of this presentation will explain how the Initiative Licensing Service for Azure applications is designed and how it works.